do have those flash flood warnings along the coastline. They're also dealing with some flooding conditions on the Skywatch weather bug network from Alabama into Louisiana. Close to four inches in Mobile to Hammond, Louisiana. Louisiana University is now over 11 inches. And Gulfport, Mississippi, 5.71 inches. In fact, our Skywatch weather bug meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff was in Gulfport today. And uh, you can definitely see that he got to feel the brunt of the storm as it moved in. Hey, Henry, I'm in Gulfport, Mississippi. The, the full brunt of... Hurricane Isaac is being felt right now. We're starting to see storm surges that are going over the highway here. This is one of the main thoroughfares that connects Gulfport and Biloxi to the other side of the bay, like to Bay St. Louis and to Waveland. And last week, or yesterday, excuse me, we were at uh, Waveland and we we're seeing waves that were crashing over the road. Now we're seeing waves crash over the road here on Highway 90. And they say always don't turn around, don't drown, and this is a perfect reason why. Not only can you get stuck in the water, but you can also run over debris. This wood plank here, this is from a nearby pier that has been taken apart because of Isaac, and it has screws and nails at the end of it. You run over that, you pop your tires, and you're bound to get stuck in the water. So always turn around, don't drown. Right now we're feeling wind gust at about 70 miles an hour here in Gulfport. Sustained winds at 50 miles an hour. We've seen about four inches of rain in this area. That's expected to go up as well as we go throughout the rest of Wednesday. For now, though, I'm going to go back to you, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff from Gulfport, Mississippi. And Jacob, fortunately, is uh, in safer and drier grounds right now, but uh, having the chance to talk to him around 4 o'clock this afternoon, it was certainly uh, quite the scene there. As Isaac continues to move over areas that need rain in the middle part of the country, it makes that shift to the east, which brings rain chances towards us for the